Alright, this is uh, part two. Uh, this is uh, uh, Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 11, I'm to leave, uh, uh, beginning where I left off, uh, verse 9, the man was not created for the woman, but the woman for the man. For this reason, the woman ought to have a veil of authority over her head because of the angels. Nevertheless, neither is the man without the woman, nor the woman without the man in Yahuwah. For just as the woman came from the man, so the man comes through the woman, but all things come from Yahuwah. So Yahuwah has a way of doing things that it all works out comes, and it comes back under his head. See, religion takes you off track. And it, and, it, and it basically takes you off the path that leads you back to Yahuwah. And it leads you to uh, the, the, the authority of man. Judge for yourselves. Is it proper for a woman to pray to Elo uncovered? Does even nature itself teach you that if a man has long hair, it is a shame to him? But if a woman has long hair, is it to the glory of her? That long hair, in this sense, I, you know, I'm, I'm just believe I'm being led by the Spirit. That long hair, in this sense, is the covering of religion, the covering of doctrines and things that are not of Elo, that keeps you away from Elo and, and cause you to lead others astray because you're being led. You, you don't, you don't have, you, you basically don't have the connection to Elo to hear from him to give the proper message. You, you, you have so many things that you. That, that you're working with that's not of him. So now you religious and you're leading people into religion and not into spirituality. He says, not by power, not by night, but by my spirit. You cannot be led by a spirit because you're already, done, you're already covered with other things. But if anyone seems to be contentious, we have no such custom, nor have the, the churches or the assemblies of Elo. Now, in what I have to say to you, I do not praise you. You have come together, not for the better, but for the worse. First of all, when you come, excuse me for the noise outside. I'll, I'll skip that. All right, let's see. Now, this is Ezekiel 13. It says, And the word of Yahuwah came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy, and say thou unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts, Hear you the word of Yahuwah. Thus says Yahuwah, Elo, woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit, and have not have seen nothing. O Israel, O Yashrael, thy prophets are like the foxes in the deserts. You have not gone up into the gaps, neither made up the heads for the house of Israel to stand in battle in the day of Yahuwah. They have seen vanity and lying divination, saying, Yahuwah said, and Yahuwah has not seen, not, has not sent them. And they have made others to hope that they would confirm the word. Have you not seen a vain vision? Have you not spoken in lying divination? Whereas you say, Yahuwah says it, albeit I have not spoken. Therefore thus says Yahuwah Elo, because you have spoken vanity and seen lies, therefore behold, I am against you, says Yahuwah Elo. And mine hand shall be upon the prophets that see vanity and the divine lies. They shall be, they shall not be in the assembly of my people. Neither shall they be written in, uh, in the writing of the house of Israel. Neither shall they enter into the land of Israel. And you shall know that I am Yahuwah Elo, because even because they have seduced my people, saying peace, and there was no peace. And one built up a wall, and lo, another daubed it and un untempered it mortar. Say unto them which daub it with an untempered mortar that it shall fall. There shall be an overflowing shower, and you, O great hailstones, shall fall, and a stormy wind shall rent it. Lo, when the wall is fallen, shall it not be said unto you? Shall it not be said unto you, 
Where is the dobbling wherewith you have dobbed it? Therefore, thus says Jehovah Elo, I will even rend it with a stormy wind and a fury, and there shall be an overflowing shower in mine anger and great hailstones in my fury to consume it. So I will break down the wall that you have daubed with untempered mortar and bring it down to the ground so that the foundation there shall be dis discovered and it shall fall and you shall be consumed in the midst thereof and you shall know that I am Yahuwah. Thus will I accomplish my wrath upon the wall and upon them that have daubed it with untempered mortar and I will say unto you the wall is no more neither they that daubed it to wit the prophets of Israel which prophesy concerning Jerusalem. And which see visions of peace for her. And there is no peace, says Yahuelo. Likewise, thy son of man, set thy face against the daughters of thy people, which prophesy out of their own heart, and prophesy you against them. And say, Thus says Yahuelo, Woe to the women that sow pillows to all armholes, and make kerchiefs upon the head of every stature to hunt souls. Will you hunt the souls of my people? And will you? Save the souls alive that come unto you? And will you pollute me among my people for handfuls and barley and for pieces of bread to slay the souls that should not die and to save the souls alive that should not live? By your lying to my people that you hear your lies, that hear your lies. Wherefore, thus says Jehoello, Behold, I am against your pillows wherewith you wherewith you there hunt the souls to make them fly. And I will tear them from your arms, and I will let the, the souls go, even the souls that you hunt, to make them fly. Your kerchiefs also I, I will I tear and deliver my people out of your hand, and they shall be no more in your hand to be hunted. And you shall know that I am Yahuwah, because with lies you have made the heart of the righteous sad, whom I have not made sad and strengthen the hands of the wicked uh, that should not uh, return from the wicked way by promising him life. Therefore you shall see no more vanity nor divine divinations, for I will deliver my people out of your hand, and you shall know that I am Yahuwah. Jeremiah, 20, Jeremiah 29 11 For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says Yahuwah, thoughts of peace and not evil. To give you an expected end. See, religion is deceptive. It leads you to the to the to the ways of man. It leads you to the doctrines of man. It leads you to groups and organizations and cults and different things. The cults culture of men. It leads you to the six six six. The mark of the beast. The mark. Basically, the mark of man, the ways of man, the doctrine of man, the thoughts of man, the uh, false authority of man. But the spirit, which discerns all things, as he said, he will deliver you through the spirit. And the spirit will will lead you to the right path, the narrow path, the path that leads you back to Him. Till you would come to that expected end. Not to a dead end, but to the expected end of Yahuwah. What is the expected end of Yahuwah? This, look, read, read this uh, definition here that's, that was from the Etymology Dictionary. Chosen now, the elect, the select, especially those selected by Elo. From past particle to ch of choose, chosen, people for the Jews is recorded, 1530s. So, I'm proud to say, through the spirit of Elo, I have lost my religion. Be led by a spirit that I may come to his expected end, chosen. Elected. Now, one more thing I must say. Uh, that's why I tell you I'm not. I don't claim any man-made religion, and this is no disrespect for those people who are spiritual in those 
places. Like, I know there's some spiritual Muslims, there's some spiritual, uh, what people say Islam, there's some spiritual people in all those places. So, the most high, I believe, he's going to say, Come, I'm not speaking for him, I'm just saying, because he didn't tell me this. <laughs> I'm just by permission. That's why I say I believe that he has people in all those places, those spiritual people. And he's going to bring them spiritual people to, I believe, to his, to his path. You know, so that's why I say I don't, I don't claim that I'm a Christian. I don't claim I'm a Muslim. I don't claim I'm a Buddhist. I don't claim I'm none of that stuff. Because it, it, cause a lot of, uh, and hear me once again, I'm not saying the spiritual people, but a lot of those people that are in those groups and organizations are being led by a system of religion, which leads you to the mark of man. So even like I said, when I, uh, when I found something that appears to be good, because I've learned a lot of knowledgeable things through the, uh, the Moors, and then, you know, it appears that uh, Taj Tariq Bey is under some kind of attack. Now, there's a lot of people attacking him. I don't know. I don't, I'm not in that scene to know for sure. But I've seen a lot of people that are you know, coming against him. All I can say is I've learned a lot from him. So I don't know him personally. But I don't know, you know, maybe they know him so they can say things. But I don't know him like that. All I know is I have learned a lot from him. You know, and that's what led me to um, not signing up with, not claiming being a part of some kind of religious group or organization. I don't know their the, their leader because they, they speak about him. They you know he does great things, you know, from from that Moorish temple and stuff like that. I don't know nothing about none of that. So I'm not speaking against I'm not speaking against it either because I don't know about it. All I know is about is is the truth that I've learned. With, and then, like I said, I also. Um, Consider it and I and and I've used it from the standpoint that it is for the indigenous people of this land And because it is uh, from my, my overstanding or understanding and because it's for the uh, deliverance and the um, Educate the well, they said not education, but the knowledge base The truth base of words definitions etymology and all those different things. That is why I have uh, Said that I claim that as far as the truth of it for the indigenous people I don't claim the religion part of none of that I don't claim being under nobody's headship because we're all indigenous so we all have the, the same right and power so you know like I said I'm being careful when anybody says oh this is the way you got to do something now you're going back into religion I don't I don't subscribe to that <laughs> all right Shalom.